Well, each year, 6,000 babies are born in this country with Down syndrome, and it makes it the most common chromosomal condition in the United States. But now a new blood test claims to be safer, more accurate. It's a way to detect it in pregnant women. And Julia Dunn has more in tonight's Your Life, Your Health. Diagnosing Down syndrome can be done during or after a baby is born, and many pregnant women in a high-risk category because of their age, maybe a condition, undergo a diagnostic test to get an answer. The downside, it's invasive and could result in a miscarriage. Well, now women have another option, a blood test, looking at the baby's DNA in the mother's blood. But experts we spoke with say that it does have its limitations. In this new test, for the first time, only a blood sample from the mother is needed. It contains bits of the baby's DNA. It's safe, the results come quickly, and a red flag is raised if there's an abnormality. It specifically will screen for Down syndrome, trisomy 13, trisomy 18. Um, some of the labs also offer testing for sex chromosome abnormalities, such as Turner syndrome or Kleinfelter syndrome. But according to Dr. Camille Kanan, the director of maternal fetal medicine at Albany Medical Center, the blood test doesn't pick up everything. Studies have shown that uh, somewhere between 17 and 20 percent uh, would have abnormalities that would not be detected by the blood test. More invasive diagnostic testing like an amniocentesis would pick up the other chromosomal abnormalities. While giving more informative, detailed results, a test like that runs the risk of a miscarriage, and some women may not want to take that chance. Dr. Kanan is supportive of this new blood test, but says it's expensive and should be done only when appropriate. Women who uh, are at high risk are a little bit older, and many of them have gone through infertility treatments, and so they may not be willing to take any risk on the pregnancy. And these are appropriately tested with the blood test. Since becoming available in 2010 and marketed by several companies, the number of invasive procedures at Albany Medical Center has gone down. While not 100%, for what it does test for, it's very accurate. According to an article in the New England Journal of Medicine, the blood test was 10 times greater in its ability to predict whether the fetus has Down syndrome than standard testing. But it won't tell if it's hereditary or with twins if one or both of them have it, despite the test limitations. For patients who, you know, for example, are just over 35 and that's their only indication, that's a lot of extra reassurance as opposed to just a regular screening test. In Albany, Julia Dunn, CBS 6 News.